I actually got this design from a Nembon uh, automatic uh, multi-item sword or multi-item filter that I've been looking at recently. On the input side of the multi-item sorter, I noticed that he had one of these little shulker box unloaders set up. So I thought I would build one and show you guys what they are and, uh, and, and kind of what they do as well. In each of these shulker boxes, I've got, uh, let's, let's say I'll put 14. 14 of each item here in each of these shulker boxes. And when we get back from our mining trip... Uh, for example, we want to come back and drop those shulker boxes in uh, this chest here. That's the input chest, right? They will slowly feed down, or quickly feed down into the dispenser. And to initially prime the system, uh, you could probably set that up with a comparator and, and, and have it self-prime. But to initially prime the system, uh, what we're going to do is just press the button. When we press this button, it's going to dispense a shulker box here. And we'll actually still be able to open the shulker box and go through the shulker box, add things or take things out if we wanted to. But it will automatically start pulling items out of that and then into uh, into this chest, which uh, when we set it up properly is going to be the input line to our item, uh, item filter or item sorter. So it dispenses a shulker box. Uh, and then once it dispenses a shulker box, the hopper starts unloading it. This comparator will pick that up that the hopper's unloading. Turn off the torch by powering it, because when you power a torch, it turns it off. Turn off the redstone rail. The observer will then fire off and then uh, and then fire and want to fire off another another shulker box, right? Whenever uh, at the same time up above here it does activate the dropper, which goes into the hopper, and then that comparator and the piston and it pushes down. So Anytime, I'll just I'll just fire it off and show you. Whenever the shulker is empty, you see the piston push down, break the shulker, and then you see the dispenser fire up another one. Just like that. So it works really, really well. Uh, very silent. We don't have a lot of, you know, droppers or anything like that. When it's done, see, it'll, it'll fire twice. When it's done, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll fire one extra time, and then you've got... Two shulkers and the unloaded 28 or two lots of 14 items that we had there as well. So it puts them all into the, the, the chest or all into the item sort of raceway. And then you can sort your items for there. Very, very useful to have. I'll kind of, uh, let me, let me guys give you a, uh, let me give you guys a little bit of a, uh, an all round so you know how to build this. That's just going to be a, uh, a comparator there reading a hopper facing straight down into a dropper. I'll put a composter on top just to reduce some lag a little bit. Any solid block there, any solid block there, uh, solid block there as well is important. Um, and that actually reads that amount. Whenever that's in there, it'll read that amount through the uh, through the hopper, right? So, uh, observer facing the back towards that rail, and a repeater on four ticks, or make sure it's on that on that on that full delay there as well. So. Pretty cool setup, shulker box unloader, put those on your item sorters and uh, and make things easier for yourself. Stop setting up 400 million hoppers uh, and reduce some lag in your world, shulker box unloader.